Welcome back, everybody. It is time to have a pizza party right here. We're going to learn from California Pizza Kitchen how to toss some dough, how to spread it out. Timothy Elkins from California Pizza Kitchen is here with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, 30th anniversary for the for CPK. Yeah. Absolutely. It's been exciting. We've remodeled the restaurant. We've uh, introduced new items like steak, chicken, halibut. It's uh, been a nice journey so far. Yeah. There's, this is talking about restaurants across the country, not only in Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, but other cities as well. Tell us a about some of the things you're excited about for this 30th anniversary, th the changes that are happening. I, I'm very excited about uh, the love that we're putting into hand stretching dough, uh, the, the new look, the refreshed image of our restaurants. Uh, most importantly, I think all the fun that we're having in there. Yeah, We're going to have some fun right now with the dough. See this dough on here? What is your advice to Sharin and I, since this is our first time doing this, what's your advice uh, when it comes to stretching and, and tossing dough? Uh, handle it with love. <laughs> uh, we, we take a lot of time and energy to ensure that the dough is just perfectly sized, the right temperature. Uh, that way it's easy to easy to move around and, and shape with our hands. Okay, okay. So, Sharon, I'm going to pass things off to you as we learn how to do this. All right. We have Carlos over here, and this is so exciting because, you know, CPK is such a staple around town. So delicious. My favorite barbecue chicken. Um, but, but, you know, the dough is like the really crucial part, Carlos. So, can you kind of walk me through how you kind of do this? And I'm going to try to, you know, do it with you. Okay, first we need to do a ring, a uh, one inch. A ring of one dough. inch, okay. Yeah, please, I do. So you already did it. And then the next okay. step, you put in your hands and do it to the trash. Then it out. Oh, oh my, my lord. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Give it a couple throws. Oh! Yeah. Carlos, the pressure is on. This is live television. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a lot of fun, like he, like I said before. He's got the smiles going and everything. Yeah, this is so neat. Okay, and how many of these are you doing a day? Um, hundreds a day, hundreds easily. A day. Yep, more on the weekends, obviously. Got it. And how much time do you have to spend on each dough? Uh, for the most part, we're spending a lot of time, most of our time in the morning, okay. uh, making sure that the dough's right. But as he's stretching it, these guys can start uh, knocking out 10, 15 pizzas in minutes. So what's the trick of not getting holes in it, Carlos? Because if I throw it up there, it's going to fall over this cliff. <laughs> utilizing, utilizing your knuckles is going to be key. So okay. as he's underneath, you can see that he's he's kind of used his knuckles right on the rim, ah. stretching it uh, to about uh, 11 oh, inches, okay. uh, and then turning it 180 degrees, <laughs> stretching it one more time, and then oh, throwing it up. Oh. Yep. Oh, okay, so, so is, is it, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I do it and roll it back up? Yeah, we got we got plenty oh, okay. of dough. You just, just put that over to the side. That yep. is funny. Okay, so, so I'm gonna so try one. Can I have, can I give you the Absolutely. mic? Actually, I got it. Yep. Coach us too. So <laughs> as you're as you're underneath, go ahead and get underneath the dough. Get underneath it. Yep. And then you're gonna move your knuckles out to the outside over here. Okay. You got a nice little stretch to about shoulders length. Okay. And then rotate it 180 degrees. Okay. There you go. One more nice stretch. Okay. And then this is the fun part. You got to you got to kind of do a, a push and throw motion with one fist? with with both fists. But my mine has a mic. Oh. There you go. You got it. Nailed it. What? You're gonna be a pizza chef you're for so us. Good. That was done. Yeah. That's you're good. No you you, you need phone. you need two more throws to get it to the right size, and you're you're good. Oh, oh. there you go. Well, you there you go. It. I punched through it. It's all good. We got we got more dough. <laughs> Yeah, that one we would we would just restart that one and and just keep on going. Like I said, we got plenty of dough. We usually move through this pretty good. You gotta try this. Come on, get in here. Come on, really. Look at this. All right, let's see a piece of dough. I'm Sicilian, so hopefully it's natural. So, yep, knuckles underneath the dough. Okay. Stretch it to about shoulders length. Watch out, everybody. She's gonna knock you in the face. There you go, Ooh. professional. Ooh. What? Beautiful. <laughs> okay, is there competition oh. in in the in the kitchen at TPK when they're making it? Like, who, who can throw it the highest? Who can throw it the fastest? I love to always try to get that competition going. <laughs> always. Are you stopping? Three feet is usually what we're looking for. You guys, you guys have that going. Love it. All nice right. job. Right. Beautiful. <laughs> There you I go. think I'm going to keep my day job. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to become a pizza. But you got it. Once you it's get great. to this point, what do you do? What do you do from that point on? You're going to throw. You're going to place it down on the table. Uh -huh. uh, once it's stretched to the right size, then you could start topping it from there with sauce, cheeses, okay. uh, really nice okay. seasonal ingredients. We we'll use shaved mushrooms, right pepperoni. Right yeah. Which ones are on the table right now? Can you describe? This, this is, is really the California good. veggie uh, oh, pizza. I've had that. That's amazing. It's got about eight different vegetables on it. Our really nice homemade marinara. 
Uh, and then the next one over there is our uh, mushroom pepperoni and sausage pizza. Oh. And uh, there's a nice piece of wild oregano on there. So tell us what some of the popular ones are because uh, when I go there, I think the problem is there's so many good ones. I don't know what to, cho to choose. You have like a salad pizza, like a, uh, you know, we do. We have types. We have a pear and gorgonzola pizza, which is exciting. Oh, we use yeah. uh, fresh pears inside the restaurant, okay. top it with gorgonzola cheese and hazelnuts. Uh, and it's got a little bit of salad on top of that as well. Uh, that's a, a big fan favorite as well as the barbecue chicken pizza, uh, which has been on our menu. We're the original barbecue chicken pizza. And that was 30 years. Recipe's gone unchanged. It's, really? it's amazing. 30 yep. years. It's something to be proud of. Yep. And of course, the location is right here oh. on uh, <laughs> Chapala, right? That's it. Yep. Right okay. inside the mall at, uh, at Paso Nuevo Mall. Very it's good. Beautiful spot. Like I said, all redone and reinvented. Congratulations to CPK. We're going to still continue tossing this dough. Are you having a good time? Claire? <laughs> yeah, you know, I've made it bigger, but there's a few holes. I just, I don't know. It's a hole in me. And by the way, over here, there's a bunch more dough. So oh, yeah, we got we got plenty got, to play with. Maybe we start moving a lot to play with here. There you go. Whoa, and we use, so. we use fresh rice flour over here as well. All right, Fox 11 is making pizzas all morning long. If you get bored, come up to the station. They will put the pizzas together for you. I want to thank CPK for joining us this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.